1.3. This is where you have your columns and you have to find out does the statement in column A relate to A, or sorry, column 1, relate to A, B, both A and B, or neither A or B. And we would write A only, we would write B only, we would write both A and B, or simply none. So we write on our answer sheet 1.3.1 and we look at our statement. Type of evolution characterized by long periods of little or no change alternating with short periods of rapid change. Is this artificial selection, punctuated equilibrium, both of them or none. Let's remind ourselves about what artificial selection is. Artificial selection is when humans select the alleles that we want to see in the offspring that's going to benefit us. That's what artificial selection is. When we're talking about punctuated equilibrium, we're saying that species undergo periods of stasis where they are relatively unchanging. And then something happens in the environment to cause rapid change. And we might even end up with a different species. Then we undergo a period of stasis and then rapid change and so on. And this is called punctuated equilibrium. We've got periods of equilibrium or no change punctuated or broken by periods of rapid change. Unlike gradualism, which Darwin proposed one species gradually becomes another and so on. This theory has been proposed by Niles Eldridge and Stephen Jay Gould and it explains periods of equilibrium punctuated or broken down like your comma in a sentence is going to punctuate the sentence into and, and usually we see uh, some kind of speciation happening. So is our answer A? Definitely not. It's got nothing to do with breeding. Is it B? Yes, it is. So our answer is going to be B only. You don't write anything else. You write what the instruction told you to write. A plant with white flowers that is crossed with a plant with red flowers and produces offspring with pink flowers. Is that incomplete dominance or complete dominance? Let's look at what we're talking about. A white flower or plant with white phenotype being crossed with a plant with red phenotype produces a blend. When we see a blend of the characteristics, we're looking at incomplete dominance. Always look to the heterozygote. If in the heterozygote we use the same letters of the alphabet and we always see one of the alleles masking the other, then we've got dominance and recessiveness and we call that complete dominance. We can also have a situation called co-dominance where both of the alleles are equally dominant and so we'll see patches of white and patches of red and that is called co-dominance. But when we have a blending, we're looking at incomplete dominance. So coming back to our options, yes, it is incomplete dominance. No, it is not complete dominance. So the answer to 1.3.2 is going to be A only. 1.3.3 separation of alleles during gamete formation. 
is this the law of dominance? And we've just gone through the law of dominance where one allele is going to be completely dominant over the other allele in the heterozygote condition. Or is it going to be the principle of segregation where our alleles, the two homologous chromosomes with the alleles, are going to segregate or separate into two different gametes. And that is the principle or the law of segregation. Let's move on now. 